Sleepyhead, let's go. It's gonna be fun. Come on, come on, come on. You have way too much energy. <sighs> I'm a morning person. Yeah, well, good for you. Welcome to Hey EW. I am RJ City, and my guest is Paul White. Hey. Hi. Happy New Year. Yeah, it's starting off with a bang. It is. Let's continue. <clears throat> you were born with a condition known as acromegaly. Ethical yeah. question. Yes. Is it wrong to say you suffered from acromegaly when it was one of the major selling points of your career? Um, no, I don't think so. I, I, I'm not that sensitive about it. It's so you just, benefited from it? Uh, yeah, I yeah. did benefit from it. I mean, I would have been big anyway, right. probably. Right, I'm sure. Six, seven, six, eight. Yeah, but, but if you were a just, coal miner, it wouldn't have helped you at all. Probably not. Right? I don't think the last place you wanted somebody my size in a coal mine. No. You know who else Unless had I'm like it. a giant canary in case something goes wrong. I would say. Send the big one down. If he drops, we get out. He was useless anyway. Yeah, you know who you else go. had acromegaly? Very famous. Probably get compared to him a lot. Paul Benedict. He played Bentley on the Jeffersons. Oh, I didn't know that. You must have watched that. You didn't know it? No, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that he had acromegaly. Yeah. I love the Jeffersons. Are you kidding me? George Jefferson was a man. Sanford and Son, George Jefferson, uh, the Jeffersons, moving on up. Are you just listing shows here? Is that what we're doing? Well, you want to talk about favorite shows growing up? Yeah. Did you ever want to be on the Jeffersons? Because by age 13, the Jeffersons had been canceled. Was that your first heartbreak? No, that wasn't my first heartbreak. Your freshman year, maybe you had some heartbreak in your freshman year, you quit the football team after disputes with the coach, (laughs) but then you became a cheerleader out of spite. Uh, it wasn't my freshman year. It oh. was uh, my sophomore year. Excuse and me. It's a, it's a very interesting story. I chose not to play for a coach. I didn't like yeah. to support the team by uh, cheering on the sidelines. What does yes. spiteful cheering look like? You were just staring at him the whole time? No, like just knowing that there was one hell of an athlete supporting the team on the side because yeah. the coach was a jackass. I assume you were a good base. And then you met Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> Who introduced you to the right people in the wrestling business? What's it like to owe your career to a partridge? I think it's pretty damn awesome. Yeah. Danny Bonaducci is one of the coolest cats I've ever met. Does he ever ask you for any favors? Or do you no, want to hook, you get him a funny? spot on Elevation? At, at some point, at some point, I need to did he get my spot on Elevation. No, do you want to hook him up do a you little want to dark? Contact lenses. He I'm can. just letting you know. I can make it happen real quick. So anyway, Danny. Uh, being on the up and upside, I'd love to catch up with Danny sometime, just buy him lunch and say thank well, you. Well, maybe this is the bridge. Maybe. Danny, Danny if I run into you, lunch on me, bud. Thank you for everything. And I will gladly serve you. You were first signed to a wrestling company. I don't want to say the name of the company, but it was where the large men like to have a good time. Do you know what company I'm talking about? Yeah, okay. I, I do know. And I, they build for you... For copyright purposes, we're not allowed to mention hair tube company. Thank yeah. you. And they build you as the son of Andre. Right. Tell me about getting that mainstream crossover between wrestling and tennis. Not Andre Agassi. What? Andre the Giant. Okay. Why in the hell would they call it? Why, why would I be compared to I've, Andre Agassi? I've seen the pictures. You look like a young Andre Agassi. You had the hair, you had the chest hair, everything was happening. So it was Andre the Giant, whose real name was Andre White? No, it was Andre Rusmanov. Okay, um, and then he and then he didn't play tennis at all, though. I don't know. Andre yeah. in his younger days was a hell of an athlete. Yeah. He could have played tennis. Hey, between you and me, Andre the Giant, hot. As far as what well, I mean, he's a bigger guy, so he probably was hotter. I know that I'm always hot. Right. When I like AC, and yeah. I'm barely wear a coat in the winter time. I'll say, you're a bit of a furnace. <clears throat> You've gone through so many outfits. One strap. Trunks. What the hell do you mean? I've gone team. through so many outfits. You've gone through so I've many had the outfits. Same goddamn no, look for what? twenty fucking no. years. You had the one strap, then you had the trunks, then you used to wear a shirt. Remember the shirt period? Uh, and then you leather had leather pants too. Yes, the yeah. leather. Yes, that whole thing you know there. What happened to the leather pants? What? 
A good friend of mine, Brock Lesnar, ended up giving me an F5 in South Africa after some bad food. I left the pants in South Africa. Oh, my God. True story. Dear Lord. That's and they hung them said. up in a museum or something. No, they probably buried them at a hazmat site. Speaking of burying, I saw footage from your father's funeral. And first of all, I want to say my condolences. Thank you so much. Second of all, I noticed you were wearing leather pants at the funeral. Is that normal grieving attire for you? Uh, I think back then it was the uh, the 90s, so yeah. you know leather was kind of the the thing. And plus, it was in Connecticut uh -huh. at about minus 16 that day. So. Right. Uh, I needed more than leather pants to stay warm. Right, you're burying your father and you go, ooh, it's a little chilly, you don't want to say Just that. Just a little bit, I mean, you know, the sensitivity probably wasn't, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, with the Blues Brothers car showing up yeah. and, you know, we had to do something at that time because the amount of backlash around that whole angle was pretty heavy. It was so controversial. A little bit, a yeah. little bit, yeah. Much uh, like the Sopranos or Breaking Bad, everyone said, this is incredible. Well, Ray Trailer actually was getting death threats. Oh my God. He was, there were people were motivated back then. When you wore the one strap, did you sometimes wear it inside out to air out the other nipple or? No, it was more of a, I don't air out. See, that's the thing, I don't smell bad. What right. you're alluding to. Well, you have one nipple always covered, divine. it looks like you're it, always it's, winking. It's a style choice. Yeah. Just, you know, there are famous track athletes. That oh, have style one, choice. Style choice. Like I that? Mean, there's a lot of great wrestlers back in the day that have one strap down yeah. and one strap up. So, I mean, you know, it's. Okay. You know, I that's think good. I think that's a very nitpicky thing to pick on. Sure, well, you, yes, you would I mean, nitpicky. Yeah. You've been on Conan. Leno and Fallon. Right. Why did Letterman hate you? Um, <laughs> I, I never met David Letterman. Exactly. I, I'm a huge fan of David Letterman. I just don't think that my... Uh, Brand I, of humor is too broad for him? I don't think I was a big enough talent to be on David Letterman. Mm. Sorry, David Letterman only deals with the, the top tier talent. I don't yeah. think I made the cut. Yeah, well, he had Andre on in 1984. That's Andre. Had he known... You know? Had he known, yeah. uh, maybe it would have been a fun fun show. I would have loved to, to, to hang out with David Letterman. When you broke the ring, did you have to pay for it? <laughs> no, I did not have to okay. pay for the ring when it broke. Because you broke no. it like multiple times too. Yeah. And I would have been yeah. like, this guy probably shouldn't be wrestling for us anymore. Yeah. Is I that know. why they have you on commentary here? They're like, this guy's a hazard. Wow. Wow, that's... By the, by the way, hey, yeah. where is it? Oh, I don't have it. We got Breakaway. Do you have a... I got a bottle. I got a nice Breakaway bottle. Oh, there it is. This one is real, right? Mm -hmm. This one is uh, Breakaway if you want to do your little giant business. Why... Okay, first of all, I don't need a Breakaway bottle to do giant business. Oh, okay. I don't need it. But it'll be fine. And second of all... Yeah. Why are you drinking shit champagne? I don't, I don't really drink it. That's not even champagne. That's like sparkling wine. I just swirl it around my mouth and I like the tingle All and right. then I spit All it right. out. Okay. All right. Well, hey, Ooh, you ever want this, on. you Ooh, let me know. We'll, we'll, we'll move on here. <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to do that giant interview trope of like, oh, how big are your hands or how much champagne can you drink? I think we're beyond it. I think it's ostracizing against giant shaming. But hypothetically, mm -hmm. if you had to shit in a bathtub, how would you? Hypothetically, shit in a bathtub? Um, well, I would try not to, because that just right. seems like you're exacerbating the entire problem. Yes. For someone that's got to clean it mm -hmm. up. Plus, I don't know about the hygiene correlation. Yeah, um, I would remove the drain. Probably yeah. remove the entire tub. Right. Um, I think... Uh, over time, there have been a lot of amazing athletes, big athletes mm -hmm. in wrestling that have had to do things in desperate situations. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, go to their father's funeral in leather pants. Yeah, you're on the leather pant thing, aren't you? I like them. As uh, of this taping. Well, thank God they're in South Africa buried somewhere <laughs> in, a, in a hazmat. As of this taping, you've had 34 turns. Uh, I, I don't want to use insider terms. You've had 34 turns you just from. You said breakaway bottle. Yeah. What are you talking about insider terms? That's not insider terms. terms. It's that's not, not like, like Harley Race. Hey, the breakaway bottle. It's that's not everyone like your journalistic that. integrity is at stake here. Let's be honest, all right? I just didn't want to give away the secrets. Let me just say yeah. you've had 34 turns from. Yay guy to Boo Man. Do you know what I'm talking about? You mean heal the face? Uh, yes. Oh, there you go. Fine, there we go. Great. Can't Ooh, wait to I censor this. God, I'm firing my fucking agent. Do you sometimes forget which one you are? Do I forget which one I am? Like, no. which one are you now? Do you know? 
Right now, yeah. I'm trying like hell to be a face, but you okay. better turn me you know, pretty quick. Ooh, I think they call that tweener. Yeah, that's it. There have been many overtures made about your character from Waterboy, Captain Insano, perhaps. Insano. Don't, don't, Jesus. Insano. Oh, oh we have, oh, the fancy champagne. Not fancy enough for me. Try to say Insano. And you're, okay. Well, you, you ruin. Um, ruin what? Let me just say this. If it doesn't result in a run-in from Kathy Bates, I don't know what we're doing here. But that role is merely one piece of salami on the smorgasbord that is your acting career. I'm gonna name some other roles. You tell me if we'll ever see them in the ring. You ready? Sure. Guy leaning on a truck in the Thong Song Uncensored music video. Yeah, I think that guy had on leather pants too. See? That was your oeuvre for a while. Huge Santa. It was the 90s. I like leather pants. I, clearly. They were $2,000 a pair. <laughs> Huge there Santa. Like, there was like two cows. Go ahead. Huge Santa Please, from what? Speak in sound bites. Well, I mean. Huge Santa from Jingle All the Way. Uh, Santa Claus might be kind of cool. Yeah, but you won't have Phil Hartman there to carry everything for you. Oh, Orion Jesus, Slaver man. number one, sorry, from what? Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, that'd be pretty cool, Wouldn't actually. It? Yeah, that was a, the only thing with that was the makeup. I had to get literally spray painted every morning at Paramount, like 6 a.m. It was like spray painting a Buick. Let me uh, address a role that I'm not fond of. You appeared on Cousin Skeeter. And you were a little stiff. Why take liberties with a puppet? I don't know. Maybe Skeeter just annoyed the hell out of me. He didn't shake your hand? No, I'm not that vain that someone has to shake my hand. That old school business. Four felt fingers, too. Uh, four you felt know? fingers. I just, you know. Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman was once your stand-in for a movie. Is that true? I saw a picture of the two of you. Oh, you're, you're, you're making this up as you go. That's not, there's a picture. There is, is a picture. picture. I've Any seen the guy picture. Any over 6'6 six, six with a bald head and a beard or a goatee they think is me. Okay. Well, so, I mean, come on. It's just, that's just a look. I got a bald head. There's not much I can do with it. Okay. But you, you didn't vote for him? Well, who and what? I, why would I vote for him in Pennsylvania when I live in Florida? Exactly. So there's a little bit of a slap in the face. How is it a slap in the face? I don't live in Pennsylvania. Uh, well, this has been a large performance. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Yeah, I think I'm going to do a little bit more investigation when I'm asked to do interviews uh -huh. with who I'm working with. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I mean, there, 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 are, there are moments in an actor or an athlete's career where they will look back and go, I shouldn't have done that. Mm, like Knucklehead. Like Knucklehead? Really? You're going to mess that? Knucklehead? Knucklehead was a good movie. Uh, Dennis Farina said it was the most embarrassing project he's ever worked on. That's a direct quote. Say something back to the estate of Dennis Farina because he's no longer with us. Dennis Farina actually gave me a trophy and said I did a great job. <laughs> Dennis Farina is a worker. You know what? What? No, come on. At least do the glass thing. No, you're look. No, we're gonna. Hey, hey, no. Hey, man. Happy New Year. Yep.